everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Nidhi Sandy Koshi and CCV likes and votes are down from last year. Not sure if they're going to Kokonala in final. What Kokonala is, is apparently it's a view botting program or view botting system, whatever you want to call it. And right now they're looking at the Koshien things. 206k is still very good. That was in, I believe, 2023. 178k. Um, and yeah, these are all 2023 here. And a 2024 at the bottom. The same one for 2024. They did make the visuals look a lot better. And they got 178k and 174k respectively. I think a lot of people are just tired of needy stuff. They are taking a break, maybe. Um, people could be a lot busier now especially 2023 was still we were still kind of in the whole pandemic thing there were still kind of a lot of people who were not working still a lot of people who were not in school still that type of thing during last year's koshien a lot of people were still indoors they were still not doing much so or you know still working from home so they had more time to do it this now is a time when people are working at school etc uh and also some people have moved on after the selen Totsky incident after the bad management on that end. So that could very well be a thing. Um, Kokonala, I don't think they're going to do that because of the fact they're still getting over 100k CCV, which is nothing to shake a stick at, nothing to be like, ah, it's nothing. I would kill to have that kind of CCV on any of my streams. And I know small VTubers would as well. Last year was lower than 2022. The gap in the year is larger, but that shouldn't be too much of a surprise. After all, they sabotage their own international viewership. B-League isn't over yet, buddy. I give it a minute before you show numbers. Use that real final numbers, which would be lower than last year's. Uh, look, they're competing against real Summer Koshian baseball tournament, so that's low numbers. But they were, I think they were doing the same thing last year, unless last year was a, was a different time overall. No, they were doing it around the same time. They're actually around the same year, the same time every year. So the it's not the Koshian things because they were last year's Koshian was the same and uh, they had a lot larger numbers. It's just, I think a lot of people have just given up on Nidhi Sanji and are done with the whole thing. Here is a post that was originally about, you know, um, the fact that Nidhi is exhibiting at comic market. And according to this person, there was not even any information on the event. And one reason why I'm bringing this up is not because I'm trying to dig on Nidhi Sanji, but Kudo Sanji is always maligned for being, you know, pure antis, pure this, pure that. But they're antis with backing, like in the sense of, yes, they are, there are a lot of antis on here, but they're also a forum that tries to at least keep it itself a little bit more on the centrist side. Of course, they, they go more towards the anti side, but they try to correct when things happen. This person says they don't have any information to attach. They don't have any extra information. Maybe they're not privy to the Japanese things. I always try to uh, assume innocence uh, instead of assuming extreme malice, but still it, it is irresponsible to have something like this out there. This person throwaway 357822 said, seems they started posting about Sambaka goods in June. And I've posted a lot of information concerning these goods in 24 hours. And this one here is uh, from July info about Sambaka's talk show at the event. They have also yesterday been posting countdown posts for a few days. Uh, two days ago, the boost setup, uh, the schedule from yesterday. So they're they're posting all these things here. This is the Sanbaka thing that they had here. The uh, page of Lambda. Here you can also from behind the scenes stories. You can also hear here. Please come and visit us. They're having you know countdowns of you know like one day left till the event. The setup of the booth. This is all on Nidhi Sanji's Nidhi Sanji JP stuff. So they're ha they are actually having stuff on there. So the person had his post uh, proven wrong. And this is why I'm actually writing this. This is why I'm actually you know, talking about this because this person actually came with receipts as a response. They didn't necessarily say you are, um, you're horrible, you're evil, you're this, you're that for doing this. It's like, look, you were wrong. Here's all the information that you're wrong. Just letting you know. And it's like, seems like you're the one who missed all the updates. This is why providing sources for posts is always important. Instant checkmate to the OP. Too bad the sources provided here are not supporting OP's claim this time, but rather full-blown contradiction. And that's why sources, like I mentioned in all of my videos, I have a disclaimer to start off. Unless sources are put out there, I take it as a rat. I take it as a rumor. I take it as someone uh, just putting pulling something out of their butt. Uh, unless there are sources, take it as the same thing because it is the responsible way to be. Of course, it's very easy, very easy to follow things based on your narrative. If you hate a group or hate a person, and then you get information that 
is you know verifies your hatred or you know solidifies what you think it is um it is a bias it is a i forgot the term but it is a bias it is an actual term that's out there um it's confirmation bias i believe it's called i think it's called confirmation bias uh where you're just conf you're biased towards things because it, it things that confirm what you believe you are going to be biased in believing it because it's confirming your beliefs and your hatred and your whatever so don't allow confirmation bias to cloud you uh, or do. I mean, it's up to you. I'm not going to police that. I don't want to police that. A lot of people have been asking me for the video, uh, you know, DMs and stuff about Nux uh, talking about Taiga and Taiga responding. I'm going to show this today because I was able to find it thanks to this actual person here. There are times since my last post here, Tiger has been busy fighting out the slander, still following him from Nux. And if I may speak off the cuff, the absolute nerve of Nux to double down yet again, calling the biggest L of my career. I have harsh words, but I'll refrain to not break the rules. Idiot loves inserting himself into other people's drama. Nux is a hypocrite. He still uh, has lewd girl art as his thumbnail for his second YouTube channel. Looking back, I bet Bishojo were in the right when most of them turned on him. So people are saying Nux is not liked. And this is one of the reasons here. I'll show it to you right here. It's one of the reasons why Nux isn't liked, apparently. Tell you what's been going on. Basically, there's this VTuber, Bungo Taiga, that got banned on YouTube. But for some reason, this became a, a whole thing and reason why people are trying to blame me for it. No, also no one's trying to... to blame you for the ban, Nux. If you actually looked at the situation, you'd see what they're kind of blaming you for. Um, and it's kind of just years of not taking accountability for your actions, including what you did to me. You aren't solely responsible for my ban on YouTube. Um, apparently Bungo Taiga on his streams for like the last year has been saying that I, I never apologized for wronging him and... You guys have watched my past streams, right? So that's lie number one. I don't know, this guy Bungo Taiga and yeah. I, I apologized to him privately that... Let me, let me be clear. Let me, let me check exactly what he said. So, um, yeah, he said, hey, man, I saw some clips of your stream floating around. You asked me to reach out, so here I am. To be frank, I saw a lot of leaked DMs and stuff months ago about you, so I'm hesitant to give you the benefit of the doubt. Um, but that said, I don't want to spread misinformation about you either. Despite my disclaimers, I apologize if that's what I ended up doing. I apologize if that's what I ended up doing. It's like, it's, I'll admit of put a little bit of my own spin here. It's like saying, it's like when you say, I'm sorry that you got offended by what I said. It's a half-assed apology. It's not even an apology. It's an apology that you got offended. That's what it seems like. And then I said, you know, you saw some leaked DMs of me grooming someone, because, like, where's that? And then blah, 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 I say a bunch of shit. And then he's like, this guy sounds like bad news, and I'm sorry you and others had to deal with him. The, the guy he's saying sounds like bad news is literally my stalker who he said I groomed. Who he said I groomed. The stalker who he said I groomed. I never said he didn't apologize. I explicitly gave the, the method to which he did apologize, which was a private apology in DMs. The problem with that, Nux, okay? The problem with that is that you slandered me to over 200, well, I think the video has over 300,000 and 50, 350,000 views now. 350,000 people plus Moist Critical, right? So that's line number one. Obviously, I never said you didn't apologize. I don't know, like, where are you getting this from? Every single video, I literally outline the method on which you apologized and how it was lackluster for the damage you've caused me. So it started off, well, it didn't start off this way, but this was a tweet made yesterday by Bungo Taiga, banger tweet. Mm. He deleted the tweet, but someone sent me a screenshot of it. As you know, I'm not on Twitter anymore. So, um... No, so nobody knows that, Nux, like because you tweeted on the 26th that you would be covering everything after you got back from vacation. So nobody knows that you're not on Twitter anymore because you were active as of the 26th of August, not even, like, two weeks ago. And also, I apologize for deleting tweets. I thought that the method for when we regret doing something was kind of just deleting it and then acting like it never happened. So, like, the same way you did with the video slandering me, I thought it would be okay if I just tweeted about you and then deleted it after I regretted it. Damn. My bad. Oh, shit, I probably shouldn't be talking about it now, then. Damn, I'm... It says the guy's streaming on Kick, by the way. I just want to make it clear, this stream happened on Kick to, like maybe 300 people, like literally half of his max audience. Like, I just want to make that absolutely clear. He finally addresses it fucking almost two years later, and it's, or is it three? I don't know. When did the video come out? I don't fucking know, man. He finally addresses it on fucking kick to half of his, like not, I, I would say half, that's like being way too generous. Nobody saw this shit, bro. You had like maybe 16 people like actively chatting. Nobody saw this. I thought you cared about the truth, bro. Right. I thought you cared about stood up for small creators. I do, I do. Especially when the small creators don't have sussy interactions in regards to minors. 
so he's doubling down here, right? He's, he's, he's insinuating that, you know, he would have stood up for me, but because of my interactions in the past, he can't stand up for me, which will directly contradict what he says later. It just doesn't really make sense. In a nutshell, I fucked up two years ago. I made a video with Moist Critical where I, I said that, I don't know the full story, but apparently he's a pedophile. And there it is. He fucked up. Your excuse oh, about not why you won't cover me is immediately invalidated because you just said you fucked up. You got it wrong. Two years ago, I made a video with Moist Critical where I, I said that, I don't know the full story, but apparently he's a pedophile. And uh, he came back proving that he wasn't a pedophile. And I apologize for it multiple times since then, but... I think we'll, we'll say that's like line number two or three. Um, when he says he apologized multiple times, it's not true. He apologized to me like once in DMs. Maybe like, I, I mean, I guess if you count like saying sorry multiple times in the DMs, maybe maybe he apologized multiple times. I don't like, I, I feel like that's one instance of apologies. You know what I mean? Like you can't just count every time you say sorry in a DM as an apology, right? It's not multiple apologies. Multiple apologies usually require apologizing like in multiple places in front of multiple audiences, at least in my book. <clears throat> like I can send you sorry 50 times, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, line number two, not only did he call me a pedophile in that video, he called me a groomer, and I don't know why he leaves this out. Uh, Tyga is an indie streamer who, I don't know the whole story. I don't know the whole story. Like, why would he say that, dude? Why would he do that? Optimism seeping in? Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. But Tyga was outed to be a pedophile. Incorrect. Uh, oh, uh, which is shit, Jesus. A little awkward. I don't know the whole story, so alleged, but... Oh, Alleged. Wow. Oh, he throws that in there. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Nux. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. It goes on for a lot longer, but that is the gist of it. Uh, it was very irresponsible to put this out there. Uh, very irresponsible for someone as big as Nux to do that. If it were someone like me, I know I would get eviscerated by my community. I would get destroyed. I'd be like, why? they would tell me, why are you spreading this type of stuff when you don't know if it's true or not? I would get destroyed. I am surprised that Nux's community didn't do that to him. I'm surprised that Nux was able to skate by for so many years with those types of things on his channel with that type of, of message for against some, someone like Bungo Taiga and not be eviscerated. I would have been eviscerated by my community because you guys hold me to a higher standard and I appreciate that. I wanted to give you guys the full thing and of course I will have uh, the actual uh, video in the description if possible on the whole thing in order for you guys to be able to see it all for yourselves and watch it because it is a 57 minute long video. It does all these things about Nux and the, and the omissions, lying by omission and lying by a lot of things, according to this person, according to what's going on here, of course, um, all the things that Bungo Taiga has against Nux and all the things that Nux has said and made it incorrect. Do not, of course, do not think that Charlie has any responsibility in this because Charlie's just getting based on the information at the point when this was popping out. Charlie had never talked about VTubers as far as I know. Probably didn't even know about the VTuber community. He's just getting information off of Nux at this point. So that is, I put it less on Charlie, more on Nux. Throwing my hat into the ring to make it a little bit more visible to everybody out there. There is a GoFundMe. I did mention this in one of my previous videos, but I'm going to be making a separate section for this. There is a GoFundMe for Tyga in order to get them um, some help, get her some help, I believe it's her, get her some help and get the legal fees uh, dealt with because whenever you have to send anything legal to YouTube, there's gonna be back and forth. Anytime a lawyer has to spend hours on this, it's billable hours, of course, because they have to be paid for what they're doing. They originally had a goal of 1600. Now they're at 11702. What this is going to do is anything extra, David Munro, holy crap, $1,000, Anything extra, as I mentioned, this is a, a Jane Doe doing it for, uh, on behalf of Taiga. They are, they have the, 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 uh, okay from Taiga to do this. They are trying to do this, raising funds to cover legal fees necessary to challenge the unjust decision and restore Taiga's YouTube channel. Immediate goal is 1600. That's for the basic, I think, request going through and any back and forth. Now they have much more money. The entire amount, the entire amount will cover our expected legal fees as well as transfer fees. However, if the further legal action is required, we may need to raise additional funds. So this has already gotten to the point where they have funds for any additional battles that they have to have they have to do because, of course, it's YouTube. There may be some back and forth. There may be some like our hands are tied, but hopefully this will help. And hopefully in case if they have to get more lawyers on this, in case that they have to do more back and forth or even try to get the information of the person who's doing it in order to do a cease and desist or do a civil lawsuit, they have that there. 
they have war they have a war chest starting which is good taiga needs this taiga needs this win uh like it says airy airy go move was able to get her channel back after sending a legal request did they shut down her channel or delete it they deleted it they may not have channel to give back to him terminated channels can be brought back though i don't know how long a date of her terminated channel lasts before it eventually gets completely purged now here's the thing that will happen if usually i'm not sure if google has it this way but i have dealt with you know trying to get um information back etc legally usually once there is a legal challenge they will stop the clock on deleting a channel if they were going to delete it and remove it they stop the clock immediately once the legal challenge is put in they stop the clock and it's like okay if we were going to delete it now that it's a part of a legal battle now it's a part of a legal thing we have the legal obligation i believe it's a legal obligation to not delete the channel and to keep it going so that is what i'm seeing here hopefully uh taiga is able to at least challenge it in the correct way with someone who knows maybe show a social media lawyer something like that that will know how to fight this seeing support for taiga when just several months ago i got bashed to oblivion for supporting him here well guess what good for him he needs it world is healing i think at the very least people agree that this isn't related to any feelings one may have for them that they don't deserve this i don't think anyone wants to openly support a world where creators can be removed by one person who is just petty and a stalker and all that kind of stuff allegedly a stalker you know that's, that's what because he has been following taiga for a very long time from the evidence that i've seen so it can be in my opinion stalkerish behavior they may not actually be a stalker but they're exhibiting the same type of behavior that would usually be seen by one as that so luckily they're having that and i'm glad they are hello everybody we're doing a bit of a sayu news break we had of course the sayu suika game that i covered the other day we also have they went first time tubing um on on the lake on a river river tubing white, they didn't go white water rafting i thought they were white water rafting but they went tubing and uh the phone had a lot of water in it uh whenever i go tubing or anything like that i can't swim so it's hard for me to go tubing but i go tubing with like a, a jacket a flotation device um i do put my um my phone in one of those specifically made waterproof phone thingamadoobs so that just in case if i get water on it it will be water on a bag and what not water on that now there's other things though other little wonderful things. Sayu looks like they're getting a U2s collection. At the very least, a looks like a plushie from U2s, which is a very, very good thing for them. This is amazing news because she deserves this type of stuff. That's effing go. Yeah. Uh, jar, need, need. Let's go. Wallet is done for. No, not right after the expo. My money. Let's go. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get sold. Yeah. It's going to be like the, the, these type of things here. It's just going to happen. It's going to happen. Uh, oh no, I need to go outside to buy another jar again. The jar. The jar is going to be used by everybody. <laughs> Everyone's going to put it in a jar. How big of a jar do you have to have in order to put this in there, though? That's my question. But either way, congratulations for Sayu for getting this kind of connection. She has been working really hard to get connections out there in the world, and she deserves a win like this. So congratulations, Sayu, on your U2's plushy it looks like hello everybody and welcome back to the vtuber showcase that we're having for this episode we are going to be having luma binks as you know the vtuber showcase is where i try to give back to the community who has given so much to me the vtuber community in whole and i want you guys to be able to see new ones that maybe you would not have been able to see in the past here we have luma binks doing some ara aras here of course ara -ara. <gasps> she's in love what the fuck? <laughs> she went crazy on that. So here we go. Uh, a VTuber aiming to entertain and make people smile. And here we go. Shalom. Shalom. Let's go. So she apparently knows German, which was the last thing on the TikTok there. Um, and uh, she does speak English from what it seems like. So she is a multilingual vtuber which are always amazing vtubers to take a look at they're always amazing to see multilingual vtubers hi there i'm vtuber aiming to entertain and make people smile they have their tiktok and i'm i've shown uh their twitch here thank you so much luma binks let's take a look at luma binks there again thank you so much luma binks for being a part of the vtuber showcase i do hope that this helps you along in your journey and is a positive step towards a bright future that is all for right now of course comment like and subscribe down below thank you for being here of course i love having the conversations with you guys i love having these things with you guys and i do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment take a look at my description for my socials there's a discord there's twitter there's other places that you can check me out twitch etc and also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy thank you